Um, just a few overviews that we, I talked about with Neil this morning. Um, uh, I was interested, uh, and Mark joined us in the conversation, the material in Trench 4 is predominantly 1st, 2nd century, yeah. and the, including that very sharp bit of Samian ware. Um, and I think what we're hoping is that if that material represents and Mark said 85% of it. I pushed into 85, and then he started at 80. People Eight, 85% of it was, um, say, 80% of it was predominantly first, second century. Yeah. What we are wondering is if, in that trench four area, is it at all possible that that trench four area represents? a more first, second century direction of the site than the area that they dug in the 60s where arguably more of the material was slightly later. And the big thing that we're trying to resolve is this. John's dark splodge here, which is high mag, John. Yeah. In this trench here are two post holes, and there's some post holes in here, and there's some strange division here. Is it at all possible that what we have is two parallel um, uh, villas, one that predated the other? This is a hypothesis, and you, you shout, Louise, once yeah. I've finished. Okay. There's a lot of burning in here, and as, as Professor Bruth, or whatever he's called, Booth, yeah. Booth said yesterday, southeast is the direction you want to go with these things. So you wouldn't have two coexistent mm. um, yeah, one would be blocking corridor the other, villas. Yeah. And the, the hypothesis we were thinking of this morning, or suggesting was, that if we do a trench in here, and this is the proposal, Roger, for this morning, to put a trench five in there, which you and I discussed yesterday, John's got it on the radar, yeah. he's got it on the mag. Is it a tool? And it also will do the job of confirming what this black, t this mm -hmm. situation is mm -hmm. between high mag and whatever that is. Is it at all possible that this represents a first, second century yes. villa yes. which was built in wood? Some of that material has worked its way down possibly into this area and then it was later replaced by a slightly posher version which, which the 60s mm. got. We seem to have a corridor villa, we don't mm. have any arms. Mm. The other question we discussed this morning which I'd like you to, to contribute to is this. We have shed loads of hypercourse tiles and no high mm. Mag signal that, unless John has not told us about in this area, yeah. that you would say would be a hypercourse furnace. Mm. We've got mm. hypercourse tiles all over, including rolled first century, third century, fourth century. So, where is the yeah. hypercourse that is supposed to go with this mm. sodding villa? Yeah. And once, and, and I, can you just confirm, John? You haven't got from your mag anything in here that's so There's nothing high. In, in that area, no. Okay. There, there's one or two targets well outside and they're not yeah. in locations that make any archaeological sense for being associated with um, yeah. hypercourse for buildings. Because the point being, Louise, you know, you, you probably confirm this, if we've got a wooden structure mm. there, then they're not going to build the bathhouse on top of it. They're going to shove it somewhere away from it. We know, is it here that there's a spring you can actually mm -hmm. see it in the field. That you know that damp, yeah, yeah, dark yeah, yeah. area that's that, mm. that's in the aerials. Now, is it possible that there may be a bathhouse here? And we wanted to find out from John if he'd done any geophysics that related to that area. Yeah, and the, and the complication you've got, if you remember, as you go into the field here, there's a manhole cover. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And if you look at the data, you can see a white line. Yes. And that's the pipe going along there and mm. those responses there um, are on that line of that service. And is that spring head in that in that area? Area. Right. That's a bugger, isn't it? Mm. Mm. And well so, I mean presumably the other thing is is that one would have hoped that when they put the pipe trench through, if they went through something like a bathhouse somebody would have said something you would notice. I mean I know I know if you go through a lot of the sort of like the equivalent of the archaeology that we've been going through there, uh, you you'd go through it, you wouldn't necessarily notice it. 
But you think if somebody went through as, as something as substantial as a bathhouse, yeah. somebody in the locality would have known about Although it. Although if it's a service system, <coughs> you don't want to be bothered, don't yeah. want to be disturbed. Well, I know there's that. It That's does happen. Oh, long. I know it does happen. There's a record of stuff being found when a drainage trench was being dug, and it may be that one. Um, but it doesn't mention any masonry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it may be that the bathhouse thing is just a bit much for us to take on today, but I was interested to know from John, is there anywhere on this site where you've got a high enough mag to suggest a furnace flue arrangement? for? Because we should have pili, mm -hmm. we should have mm -hmm. the whole works, and, and nowhere on the site have well, we got that. Well, the only target in that respect is that anomaly there, and maybe the, the one inside, but location-wise, that doesn't make any sense. Unless the, there's a spring. One. Unless there's a spring there. Yeah. But um, it's with the ditches. Yeah, it's quite close to the so ditches, on. and the springs yeah. are here, aren't they? Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. And would you have a bathhouse that far from the... Yeah, Louise? I yeah. I mean, what is the explanation for all that hype, of course, mm -hmm. yeah. We've got rolled yeah. first century, we've got shed loads of, loads of stuff, it, yeah. Yeah. Comb yeah. stuff. And, and so I mean, what about the worst possible? You know, it's down here somewhere. Mm -hmm. that out the, you know. But that isn't that outside the it's enclosure. Outside the enclosure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't that outside the enclosure of the villa? Yeah. Does um, that make sense about that? We've got to stress here that the enclosures, wherever we've looked at this enclosure, whichever ditch component, they're all telling us the same story from the pottery that they're being backfilled. Mm at the latest during the first half of the third yeah. century on the basis of that black burnish vessel from the that trench. Second but, but it is predominantly second century AD material mm. and that, that's consistent yeah. from every one of the They're knocking down a building that's yeah. got a height of course mm. in the end of the in the second century. Yeah. And is it and possible that could be that building? It could be but the thing which is quite unusual from both Barton Course and Shaken Oak is just how disruptive the occupation is across them. Barton Court goes mm. out of use, which, and Barton Court looks like that, it's the one with the trapezoidal mm. outer enclosure that looks the same. It goes out of use at the end of the second century, yeah. right the way through to say about the middle of the third, um, and in fact, possibly even later. Um, and when they relay it out, they're building over the top of the ditches. There's very little yeah, actual it, it, continuity in terms it of the layout. doesn't seem to acknowledge at all the earlier yeah. layout, does it? There's only one bit where they seem to be reusing an earlier ditch. Okay. And Shaken Oak... Well, you filled in, then, yeah, it? yeah, but Shaken Oak is a series of two buildings, two parallel villas, where they move between them. Right. And so there's an overlap between them. Yeah. It could be. There's an overlap between yeah. them. But the, the other thing, just to throw an added complication in, is that we're assuming we've got a courtyard villa, uh, a corridor villa. Yeah. The other optional type of villa you can get is a hall type villa, mm. where you have almost like a big hall and then ranges of rooms set within the bigger hall. Okay. I mean, um, I'm so, sorry, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. I, I mean, uh, uh, sort of listening to what everything's been saying so far, I mean, I don't know if, if that is a building there, how we're going to. I mean, we certainly have a post hole, more or less, on the line. We seem to have a post hole on the line of that dark. It doesn't actually make it a villa, mm. or it doesn't Phil, make it Phil, one anything. advantage of this new trench. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. The, other, the other thing that I would say, looking at this, this thing here, um, was that, that Tracy has just excavated the first of the two post holes mm. that we oh, got right. in there yeah. and she's got a piece of pottery right. which is a rim shirt mm. as far as I can so, say. I'll go uh, you and see. Uh, and, and so what, what I'm saying is that you know we've got one post hole up here is there any yes. reason to give that any more credence mm. as being the site of a timber mm. villa than these post holes over here mm. and, and thirdly I think it's fair to say that I'm not convinced that the 1960s excavations within this area have actually got down got down to the bottom mm. yet. Mm. And I think mm. that you know, if one thing we can do today yeah. is bang some holes in it and physically see just what's going on mm. under That's the just stone. Trench two, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you uh, very much indeed. And um, we'll have another meeting at lunchtime. Yeah. But yeah. everybody happy with the goals and yeah. where yeah. we're going? So can we lay that out, John? The, the yeah, we've already enough. laid it out, we'll go and change it. Yeah. Yeah.